All right, friends, welcome back to another episode of Tactical Enlightenment. Our YouTube channel is dedicated to helping you improve your gameplay at Bannerlord through the use of advanced tactics and field command. Uh, today's episode is another example of one of our live episodes, uh, not so much streaming as in just uh, talking to myself literally as I walk around uh, the map in my late game campaign anytime that the, a big battle seems to be approaching and indeed a battle seems to be approaching here so looking over my troops i'm just going to do a little bit of recruitment here uh, grab a free, few last prisoners most of my guys are full health as i confront this southern empire army here that's sieging one of our vital castles uh, this is one of our supply castles uh, I, I use this castle to su supply troops and hello we've got other troops Shit. Uh, so this is two large armies of the Northern Empire and a Western Army Empire, uh, a Western Empire Army rather, marching in the same direction. I'm not going to be able to challenge them directly. This is 30, almost 4,600 troops. Um, so we're going to pull back. Uh, 3,500 troops actually, 2,000, 3,500 troops. Uh, we're going to pull back. This castle hopefully can hold out. I've got a few more heroes that are en route, but it's not going to be enough to handle uh, that kind of a challenge. Uh, plus, we'd be seriously injured and unable to help defend this castle. So we're just going to pull around the corner here, hope nobody pursues us, and then hopefully we can we can make a counterattack here to try to stop the enemy. Uh, this is problematic, though, because they are marching north. The enemy is making its great assault, it looks like. Oh, there's even fucking more. Wow. There's a Kazate, a huge Kazate force down here as well. So 1,800, 3,000, 35. This is like 5,500 troops uh, marching in, and I'm not going to be able to confront any of them. Uh, you know, undoubtedly, they're heading north to siege. They're heading, they're heading up there to where we have uh, two castles, or three castles left in two cities. So I can probably guess the targets is Epicrotia. Uh, so the campaign is reaching is reaching its nadir. It looks like it's reaching the most difficult spot here. Uh, I'm gonna have to just sneak by, handle business down here, and and just kind of hope that the North can sort of hold out up there um, through what is obviously an onslaught of the enemy. There's already two castles under siege. Uh, this is going to be a challenge, but this is why I made this channel, right? Is to show you guys how to overcome challenges um, and win or lose. That's what we're going to try to do on this channel. Uh, so 1,700 versus 3,100. This is very doable. We're going to play with normal player damage, even though it's going to be uh, difficult. Uh, and in we go here. Okay, so this battlefield is kind of a chaotic battlefield with sort of short hills. I've got a little bit of a ridge here I can play with. Uh, line of line of sight for my archers is not terrific, but if I position archers in these trees, th in these trees, they'll pr be protected a little bit by cavalry. You may not think about that, but trees do provide some protection to your to your cavalry, or to your archers rather, because the the, and the enemy horse will run into them. Right, they'll run into trees, they'll collide with trees, slow down their momentum, and it, it makes a little bit of a defensible position for archers. Now you don't want it to be too dense of trees because they can't shoot through the trees, so there's a little bit of a balance there. I'm going to equalize my third cavalry and second cavalry. I've got two different cavalry here that are both uh, manned by really strong captains. And I think we're going to run a square with at least one of those those cav divisions. Um, I've got a lot of skirmishers, archers, and my eighth corps is healthy here. So I think we're going to use a ranged attack and then try to use a combined forced attack on whatever infantry block the enemy sends. So I'm going to get my archers spread out here down on this ridge. You can see how the enemy has to sort of come over that upper ridge. And when they do that, right, they'll be getting lit up by our arrows. Um, you've seen me call this a peekaboo tactic in the past, right, the peekaboo ridge. Um, we're going to utilize multiple different ta uh, tactics in this episode. These cav on my right flank are problematic, so I'm going to move my third cav here. And I might even dismount this division. So my second cav here is lined up in a square. And the benefit here is that the enemy will attack that on their way in. Their, their enemy infantry, their enemy cav will attack that. And hopefully we can sort of counterattack them while they are um, attacking that highly armored cavalry square. Move my divisions back here. I got a nice first division full of infantry, my sixth full of uh, 
th skirmishers, range divisions, and I can kind of tuck them in behind the third cav here. Let's get these guys off though. Let's get my third cav back. We're gonna have them also join this infantry onslaught. Uh, you can see what I'm doing here. This guy's trickling in. I'm gonna pick some of these guys off, especially the guys carrying fucking banners. This guy running up on us. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, these the, these dismounted horses, one of the benefits is that the enemy will run into those, right? And it'll slow some of their momentum. Um, even though my archers unfortunately shot some from trying to shoot these guys as they're coming in. The advantage of dismounted cavalry in this instance is I get more infantry and those horse break up the enemy infantry as they pour in. And do a little counterattacking as they charge in. These fucking assholes. So uh, here comes their infantry block. That is a fucking massive infantry block. Uh, and I'm hoping they take the bait. If they attack my cav core there, that stacked up. God, this is like six deep of infantry and they're all elite. This is gonna be a bitch. Uh, if they take that bait though, uh, we have a chance to counterattack here uh, and maybe really deal them a, a beating. All right, I'm gonna jump off here. Let's get the first core, sixth core ready, and the eighth. And we're just going to engage in just a multi-combined attack here. As soon as the enemy comes around this corner, we are fucking going in. Now, yeah, that'll do. In go the first, sixth, the second, third, and eighth corps, all fighting at the same time. Archers are staying back to shoot. And the rest of us is just a mad dash to try to kill this huge enemy corps of infantry. It's all fucking legionnaires and elite manavliotons. What a nasty fucking army this is. And they are dealing serious losses to us. This is uh, worse losses than I expected. I think a lot of them uh, didn't pay that much attention to the cab square. Uh, it's, it's good strategy for them not to have done that. Um, but obviously that's making it even harder for us to mop these guys up. These guys are fucking moving fast too. They probably have a high, a high level uh, leader that's, that's part of their army at this stage. My enemy has very strong yeah, block that, motherfucker. Has very strong lords that are opposing us, right? With high leadership skills, high combat skills. Uh, and that's going to make this battle even harder than normal. They're still fucking fighting. I mean, normally when we combined attacks like that with all our elite forces, the enemy gets vanquished quickly. Uh, this is an ominous sign for this battle that, that these guys are still not dead. Now, one critical consideration is I'm watching for their their archers. If they start coming over that ridge, we're going to have to approach aggressively. If you are playing this game, this this peekaboo ridge, and I'm feeling some arrow shots, I can't tell if that's horse archers or their archers up there. If they start getting their archers established on the ridge, the advantage is gone. Right now, suddenly they have the ranged advantage, and we're the ones that are that are in trouble. Uh, let's get these guys moved back here. There's going to be more than just that one enemy wave. And based on the strength of that first wave, I imagine we're going to have some serious, uh, tough enemy waves still to come. This is, yeah, it's mostly horse archers. So they don't have their archers up yet on this ridge. If and when they do that, it's critical that you confront them. Thanks for the shield, bitch. Uh, it's critical that you confront them because otherwise this tactical advantage of being over this ridge disappears. Starting to see a few up there, but uh, nothing yet enough to, to make me panic. That is worrisome, though. That's a hu another huge tranche. Look, it's all fucking elite Navliotons. It's all elite troops. Uh, so whatever armies the Southern Empire has here, these are like their very best troops. This is like their, their elite uh, reserve units, their noble elite reserve units. Uh, and we're, we're going to have to somehow find a way to win today's battle. Horse archers pouring in. They have a lot of horse archers too. Let's cut a few legs off of these fucks. I'm gonna have to join my forces again because this is just such a savage wave of wave of infantry. Let's uh, send them in again. We're gonna use a combined attack. So this is going to be the first, second, third, sixth, and eighth again attacking this big infantry group. And as before, I'm going to join them. 
It seems like they have archers on that ridge too. Whenever I get a spare moment, I'm going to assign a cab division up there. I don't have many cab at this stage though. Oh, these guys are moving fast. Look at this fucking guy. He's, he's fucking flying. Fuck you. I might even have to get desperate enough to bring my archers up into here. You can have your archers fight in melee if you get desperate enough, right? And I'm, I'm approaching that level of desperation here. This is their second huge wave of extremely high level troops. It wasn't as dense as the first one though, so I think I think that, that wave dissolved much faster. Their archers are right at the edge of that ridge. So it's been quite a while since I've been pressed like this in a battle. Uh, sometimes I'll fight three times as many enemies as us and just roll right over them. Um, sometimes the enemy has a good approach, but other times they have units like this in battle where it's just all waves of their most elite troops and the battle gets incredibly difficult. Yeah, more elite troops come. Those are archers. There's cav and infantry behind them. And again, these are lancers. These are uh, high level, high level cab coming in as well. We're going to continue holding this base until something changes. We've had some success so far holding them back. Uh, I think we're going to continue staying down here. That's another big infantry wave up there. Die, you bastard! You gotta love the sound effects. Okay, another huge wave of infantry. Let's get these guys on a flank here. So 6th, moving them on a flank. The 1st and 8th are gonna be down there sort of at an angle. We're gonna try to collapse upon this infantry. It looks like there's archers in it. Uh, it almost looks like they're, they're bringing their archers down in melee. Uh, which is smart, but that's of course going to make it even more difficult for us. Uh, my other cab division right now, if you're wondering, I put them in a, in a square. Sometimes I, I do so many commands, I can't tell you every single thing I do, uh, but that square is distracting them this time. Look at how inf infatuated they are with it. So now it's our opportunity. We're going to plow right through this fucking division. I'm going to get skirmishers in my 8th Corps spread out here on the right flank while they're busy with that, that cab square. And now I'm pushed them physically into their army, right? I physically moved their troops right into the midst of the enemy here, right? I want these guys going in like Rambo. Uh, we may suffer losses, but it's better than their archers setting up. It's better than them having a chance to reform. Fuck you. Now, another massacre. So we've had a lot more success since those first two waves. These are still elite troops, though. Look at this elite Menabliaton on their third wave. Uh, I think that that should put to bed. These are high-end archers. I think that should put to bed any question of whether or not we're fighting <laughs> real opponents. I had a couple, three episodes ago, I had a comment of somebody saying it looked like we were beating up on on weak, uh, weak armies. Well, uh, you be the judge, right? Three waves of legionnaires and, and Menabliatons. Uh, this is plenty difficult to foes. So it looks like they're reforming to our right. The enemy seems like they're trying to extend their left their left flank. I want to stay on this ridge though. I've got reinforcements coming through here. I've got my core of archers down there. Most of them are probably out of arrows at this stage. In fact, I might have to move, move them up as infantry. Let's take a better look here. Uh, but I'm feeling a lot better about this battle than I was five minutes ago. Okay, 34 cav. Their cav divisions are significantly re reduced as well. They've, they've got a few horse archers pushing through here, but not the 100 that they had at the beginning. Although, yeah, that says 136. Let's see if we can't thin their numbers a little bit here. A lot of my troops are out of ammunition at this stage, and that's a problem, right? Because they're sending in this huge tranche of horse archers. Well, if you can't shoot them and you can't chase them down, uh, you're literally just sitting ducks for these guys. There must be some guys shooting still. I've got some units with two tiers of, of arrows, and that's really going to help here. Let's have these guys attack. These guys are right here. The horse archers are stupid enough to get right in their face. Let's fuck these guys up.
mow him down with my battle axe. trying to be patient here. I'm trying not to extend my units too much. Sometimes when you've got momentum, it's tempting just to throttle the enemy, pour on the, pour on the aggression, and just attack them. Uh, there may be a time for that in this battle, but it, it doesn't feel like it just yet. When you have superior troops and momentum, that's usually the time to do it. Right, right now, I don't have superior troops and momentum. They start bringing in level three, level four troops. Maybe that'll change. But for the moment, I want to keep these guys here, keep our forces concentrated, and see what the enemy presents as far as challenges. They brought up some infantry, but they're peeling back. They must be reforming too. I thought this was going to be a long battle. These are fucking elite troops still. This is four fucking waves of elite troops. Elite Manavliotons. I mean, this is amazing. Hired elite pikes. Their archers haven't really been part of the fight, and that's part of the reason that we have a chance here. Had they been able to get established on this ridge, uh, I think this battle would be going much worse. I'm going to continue to keep my forces pulled back here. Uh, this this has the feel of an epic long battle. So my troops got a little overextended there. Overextended, by the way, is a term that they'll use in games like this, where it basically means your troops sent in on a charge, go too far, they get far away from the support. I'm going to hide behind my cav here and just annihilate these fucks. Yeah, you come through this gate of death, boys. Uh, so I don't want my troops getting overextended here. We go over the ridge, we send 70 infantry over that ridge in pursuit without support, and their guys are dead too. Those guys will get clobbered. Okay, those are archers. They got archers on the ridge here. We're gonna have to make a push here. We don't have very many shields. Look at the 30 guys and eight cav. I have to push up this hill and shove these archers off this ridge. We're gonna suffer losses. God, it's withering losses. But I've gotta get in there and push these fucks off this ridge. See, so what I'm doing there is, is assigning units to go right in front of the archers. We're going to use them as a screen. We're going to use them to protect the archers that are following us. And now that we're close enough for battle, I can start sending units to charge. Right, it's vital, though, that you close that distance on archers. If you just charge them with your own archers without protection, you will lose half your troops or more. Right, remember, we're outnumbered here. So this is each step, each tactic has to be done with, with intelligence or we're fucked. All right, into the fray we go. These archers, they have infantry sieging up too. This is a fucking nasty battle. They still have cataphracts. They still have manavliotons. I've got my infantry now pushing in. I've got archers following them too. I think that sheer weight of troops should be able to push through though. The fuck off your horse. Look at their archer wave. 227 archers out there. Now here, I'd love to be able to pull back, right? I'd love to be able to focus my troops and pull back, but with those archers out there, and they're at a distance, I either have to close that distance, or I'm gonna get shot to pieces. I don't have an edge to the ridge here. I could just sneak around and be safe. We're gonna basically have to be, we're forced to make this assault. Uh, it's not really intentional tactics most of the time by the computer, other than the fact that their archers are skirmishing and trying to get some distance. Uh, but if this was a human player, you'd be tipping your cap saying, okay, that tactical move, well done. I still think we can counter it, but uh, they're getting reinforcements now. 300, 300 fucking archers and 150 infantry. We're here, though. See, I, I don't feel like I can pull these troops out. If you retreat at this stage, you're going to take serious losses. I don't have a large enough cavalry screen to get to get us out of here. So we're going to make kind of a, a, a desperate charge here against this group. 150, 182. There's like 550 troops here. So we're out number two to one. Uh, they've got range on us with their archers, but we're still going to fly in here and see if we can't push them back. Just take a better look here on a horse. 
horse archers on top of everything else. Yikes. Yeah, they're deep with their archers. They're setting up a defensive line. I'm also out of arrows, so I'm at a major disadvantage at this stage. There are stages in a long battle like this where folks, where you're simply out of ammunition. I got a few guys shooting, but my archers uh, are mostly out of ammunition. And I'm, frankly, I'm gonna have to have them die for me to get ammunition. What I mean by that is when they die, I'll get reinforcements into the game. I've got one block, 54 archers in my first core has now been assigned archers. All the rest are probably out of ammo. So the fourth core of 69 guys, those guys are out of ammo. The fifth core now has some infantry in it. We're gonna shove that forward with archers behind them and try to storm this larger force. Don't try this at home. I got a nice cavalry screen here. I mean, it's not big. It's not nearly as big as I want. Let's see if we can just block some of these arrows at range here and do a, a trade-off. They're just so far away, I don't, I don't feel like I can shove my guys up yet. I can spread my archers here out on the right flank. I got this nice big tree to give commands from. I got a big, big shield wall here. This should be able to help. Yeah, these guys are running into trees trying to get to me. Bad move, bitch. Trees are your friend against cavalry. Look at they're running into them left and right. My health is already below 50%. I've got to be careful here. Those archers are doing a decent job. I'm, I'm sort of watching the, the death spam on and off between trying to protect myself here. And there's a good amount of green in there. I've got some Batanian Fiend champs that are doing damage. I've got some other high level archers that are shooting okay. See, the enemy's on their third or fourth wave of reinforcements, but we're still on our first uh, uh, archer wave, right? Actually, I'm sorry, our second wave. We've got 54 reinforcements. So that means we still have high-level archers to counter the enemy's attack. Oh, they're coming up. All right, let's spread a little flank here. We're going to have to try to flank this force because we're certainly outnumbered. We'll get the sixth and the eighth spread out here, and then we're going to fly in for battle. That's a lot of troops. This is gonna be carnage. I got horse archers fucking behind me. These archers are still shooting on the flank, uh, but they don't have very clean shots. Uh, and they got tons of javelin throwers and archers behind these infantry. They have archers fighting, of course, because they're out of ammo. This is just a fucking savage. I mean, we are just having an absolute brawl today. A slugfest, an old-fashioned slugfest. Oh, I'm getting surrounded. Where the fuck? My wing is dissolving over here. My left wing looks like it just dissolved. I gotta get out of here. The horse. Fuck. I got guys chasing me. Where are my reinforcements? They're on top of this ridge. Yeah, that was a mistake. In retrospect, I should have waited a little bit longer for another reinforcement wave. Our forces essentially got dissolved there. When you only have 250, 300 troops like we do in this battle, when your reinforcements arrive, if they're not near you, they're of no help, and your forces just kind of melt away. Time to reform the lines here. At least I've got three nice clean divisions and a horse archer division. So second is, horse, is, is cav, first is thir uh, fir uh, third rather is infantry. Be able to spread these guys out and get archers in the rear here. Got cav coming over here that are, are being pursued. The enemy's for sure just gonna storm over this ridge very quickly. Gotta get these guys into, into position quickly. time being, I'm just using my cab as a shield wall. I'm 
not quite sure how the enemy's going to approach until I see him over this ridge. Then I'll make some tactical decisions. One thing I know is I don't want their archers to have any room when they come over that ridge. When they come over that ridge, I want their archers 10 feet away from one of our angry guys with the shield. And those are infantry. I'm going to keep moving up on this. I've got this incredibly str strong block of infantry for once. This is almost 200 guys. We're going to use them in conjunction with this cab and try to steamroll their forces as they come up. They're all in shield wall. They're blocking archer damage. I can drag these archers behind me. Get up here, boys. I got some cav archers. Every single warrior there has a shield. So we're going to be able to definitely charge their, their archers. Yeah, we're pushing in, and we're going to slaughter everything in our fucking path. I'm physically sending my guys in. Stay, don't use charge here. Physically send them, right? I've just told those guys to go through. Now, sometimes the enemy will sneak through like this guy. That's my job, right? My job is to clean up the guys that sort of fall through the cracks. The rest of them, though, they're just like a steamroller going through the enemy. Look at the death screen. It's just a whole bunch of green. I'll bring archers around on this right flank, right? That way they have a great line of sight. They can sort of enfilade the enemy, obliterate some of these cavalry. 40, 360 plus 110 cav. We're still seriously outnumbered here, but if we stick together, I think we can push through this. It's going to be a close thing, though. I've got to be careful with my main character at this stage, right? I'm, I'm two or three hits from being dropped. Look at him just steamrolling. All right, archers out there, infantry out there. We, we charge. We're pushing right in. The left flank is problematic here. I'm going to have to do some help. A lot of the enemies sort of fell behind, fell through the cracks on this left flank. Uh, this is not so good. Kill a few of these guys, but now my infantry division is kind of taken off on me here. Like, these are still elite troops. Elite hired crossbow fucking 25 minutes into this battle. Fuck you guys. I'm just going to fucking go. It's points in these battles like this. I just decide, you know what? Fuck you. I'm Conan the Barbarian. We're killing everything in our path. You just launch in the battle. Sometimes you just have to act like a total savage. Just wade, just wade right through their archers. Fuck you. Look at it. Now they're out of here. Yeah, you better be backpedaling. Got horses, horse archers jammed up here. We can fuck these guys up too. Time to pull these troops back. That was a nice successful foray, but we can't get too overextended. Fuck you. Alright, this ridge way down here. Maybe we could use this. My reinforcements are coming in over here. So I want my forces to stand back here by this ridge, right? If we have a serious battle and we lose a bunch of guys in the next confrontation, I need my reinforcements nearby. When you're already outnumbered two to one, you just can't afford to have your, your reinforcements having to trudge 300 yards to catch up to you in the battle. I've still got this nice infantry block. I mean, 160 guys, most of them have shields. This is definitely the ingredients of a, of a comeback win here. I say comeback because 10 minutes into the battle, I, I had the feeling we were losing, that this battle was lost. These are not high-level shields. I see Sturgeon Warriors. I see uh, soldier. I see basically Tier 3 uh, soldiers left in our ranks. That's not a good sign. Right? That means we're starting to get down to the end of our army as well. This, this battle can definitely go either way. I basically have to make good decisions here or else we're going to lose. These, these 
archers on the flank. I see a few elite archers in there, but I also see fucking guys wearing bathrobes. Guys with little tiny pathetic bows. I'm gonna send the cab up here to counter their cab. Put the spear right to the face. Got a nice infantry line here. I've got to start really watching my own health. So we're going to be very slowly moving this infantry group forward. At this stage, I've got to depend on my own guys for safety. I'm going to keep this infantry in front of me at all times. The pain in the ass here is that I still see they have horse archers, right? I mean, these guys, I, I have a very hard time defending by myself with just a shield against, you know, several horse archers. Not much I can do here. I can't chase them down. I could get on a horse, but sometimes you're even more vulnerable to arrow fire, right? Your, your head is sticking above your infantry. I think I'm actually better off just sticking close to our infantry and hoping that their shields can protect us. The enemy sort of came over the ridge there briefly and then pulled back. I'm not going over that ridge at this stage. I have to wait for the enemy. I just, I don't have the forces here to get offensive until it's obvious that it'll make an impact. If they come close, then we can try to steamroll them. But I can't close the distance with this with this force without suffering serious losses. I gotta beat back some of these horse archers. You know what, these guys have no support. Let's just go in here and wreak havoc. Probably out of ammo, otherwise these guys would not be would not be resorting to melee. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Just swept him from the ground. My health is getting to a dire level. All right, that's a big line right on the ridge. This is our opportunity to attack. Up we go. As soon as they get to that ridge, don't I'll let their archers establish here, right? They're starting to shoot. I'm probably 10 seconds too late. I get distracted by the horse archers. Got this guy fucking trying to spear me. Fuck you. And now we pull into them, right? I've got infantry now piled up on them. A lot of these archers I've actually told to charge. What they'll do when you send archers to charge is if they're out of ammunition, they will charge in. Let's do some fucking work on the side here. They will charge in if they're out of ammo. Shit, took another nasty spear. I've got to watch out for horse coming in. Uh, but I need all these archers up here swinging their swords too. This battle is, is hanging, oh fuck. Can't take one more shot. It, this battle is hanging on the edge of a, a knife right now. It's very tight. That helps that we dissolve that wave. I mean, that was a, another trouncing there. 250. Let's get our line stretched out here. At this stage, I want to try to get aggressive and finish off the morale of the enemy. I like a horse sometimes to take a peek. Ah, oh, fuck yeah, the enemy is fleeing. What a fucking brawl this was. 
Man, I haven't won a battle that satisfying in quite a while. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. This is one of the most difficult fights I can actually remember, um, at least insofar as that it looked like a battle that we were going to win uh, without too much difficulty, and it turned into a very difficult fight. Take a look here. 2,700. So we vanquished almost 3,000 and suffered about 1,000 losses ourselves. Um, the deaths were both of their lords, so in the end, this is ultimately a very successful battle. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this fight. Uh, we're going to have many more of it as the enemy obviously surging into our kingdom. Um, we'll continue to focus on tactics, combining tactics on this channel. Um, and hopefully I have a lot of things that I can share with you folks. I've got a couple friends of mine that are history buffs as well. One of them's a professor. Hopefully we can share with you some really good stuff over the coming months. Uh, thanks again for watching. Please subscribe if you're interested in more of this stuff. And I'll see you fellas next time.